whilst we're waiting for the cauliflower. Today's video might just be up there as one of the most exciting because I'm going to be making a pizza. Not just any pizza, like the healthiest pizza, but also really tasty. Pizza has always had a special place in my heart, but sadly doesn't agree with me very well. I just find it so, so bloating and it takes me a few days to like get back to normal. So I didn't want to completely cut pizzas out and that is where this creation has come in and it is like a cauliflower pizza now i know what you're thinking straight off like no thanks hun like not about that collie cauliflower life but it is really really good so i'm just gonna get straight on into it and show you how i do it it's really minimal as well like it's just really easy and quick Hi, hello from the voiceover. So starting with the main ingredient, which is cauliflower. So I'm just using this cauliflower rice that I got from Aldi, but you could obviously use some large cauliflowers and then chop them down into like the small pieces using like a food press processor. But obviously this is just way quicker and Aldi sell these. So I've start with those. Then you're going to need one whole egg just that little guy. Then you're just gonna need some cheese of preference. I quite like using mozzarella or like any low fat cheese. And then for my spices, I'm just using some oregano. This is just for the base. And the first step is just to microwave and cook the rice. I'm doing this for about five minutes and I'm just taking it out every like minute or so and shaking it round. The best thing with this, like you can use cauliflower florets or what I've done, the quick and easy way, just some cauliflower rice. I got this from Aldi um, and yeah, this just saves so much time rather than using like a food processor to cut down the cauliflower. Um, so yeah, and they're really cheap and reasonable from Aldi, so that is a good little hack. <laughs> Whilst we're waiting for the cauliflower. So I'll make sure I leave like the macros and everything on the screen. It's quite high protein, very, very yummy. I'm loving this whole cauliflower hype at the moment. Like I feel like you can make some really nice dishes like smoothies as well before so before you drain your cauliflower rice make sure you leave it to cool so you don't burn your hands but i grab just like um a tea towel i'll show you the kind of fabric to drain it so yeah but um it's really important to drain the cauliflower just so that there's like less moisture in meaning that you're not going to have like a completely soggy pizza base so I'm using about 320 grams of the cauliflower rice and I'm just pouring that into my lovely tea towel there and yeah just make sure it's extra cool so that you don't burn your hands because it's super hot when it comes straight out the microwave and just putting that all together. This is honestly so satisfying watching it all pour out like it's crazy how much water came out of this thing um, but yeah this is really important like especially if you were using this for meal prep because when you pop it in the freezer and everything it'll just end up like a a soggy hot mess when you come like to take it out again um so yeah then the next step is to beat one of your eggs before adding it on into like one large mixing bowl to make the base like an actual dough of some sort So in my bowl, I'm adding about 65 grams of mozzarella, that's what's in there, one beaten egg, a teaspoon of oregano, and just some salt and pepper, and obviously like any of the spices that you would like to add, and then just mixing that all together. Then I'm just popping all my mixture onto some baking paper, or if you've got like a proper pizza plate thing for the oven, that is even better, and just like flatten it out. Here is my pizza bake. Pop this into the oven. I feel like my mouth is watering. I can't wait to eat this. That goes in the oven for about 25 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. Um, if you use frozen cauliflower, it might take a little bit longer, but yeah, just like keep your eye on it. And obviously, depending on how crispy you prefer things, um, and whatnot, just go off that. So I'm going to now start on my toppings. The best part, obviously whatever I use, like you can just mix it up to be honest, the alternatives, but yeah, I'm just gonna make a tomato kind of base with some like bits of greenery, bits of thyme. Bit so for your toppings, you're just going to need a tin of chopped tomatoes. I always get the one with herbs in from Aldi, a garlic. I use about two cloves, 
half an onion and some mozzarella or cheese of preference, some basil and also some thyme. These add all the difference, I always think, on a pizza. And then I'm just using some olive oil in a pan and first off adding my diced onion. So I've just used like half an onion here. And then I'm just popping my garlic. I use two cloves, but I don't cook this for too long because you don't want to burn that. Like that's the most important thing not to burn so you can taste it. And then I'm just popping my chunky tomatoes in with the cooked onions and everything, giving that a stir and leaving that on a low heat and then getting my thyme ready and just peeling this off. This is like oh, so tedious doing this sort of it and chopping that into like really fine pieces. Um, obviously just add as much as you like before popping that in and then stirring that around leaving that to simmer just for a few minutes and getting my basil ready I just chopped this into like really fine little bits it's quite strong I find um, and popping that in lastly into my thing and then my pizza base is finished and ready how good does that look it's not so nice it had like a really strong like cheesy smell <laughs> really nice um, and yeah, it's quite solid. And then after that has simmered for 20 minutes, I just pop my toppings on to the pizza base, spread that about and add some mozzarella onto top. How satisfying is chopping cheese? My goodness me. So popping that in before putting it back in the oven for about 20 minutes. And here we have my finished pizza. I added some basil leaves just on the top, but obviously that's optional. Absolutely looks amazing. And I can't believe how much the mozzarella has like melted into the pizza. And um, I was really impressed with how this turned out. Obviously it's like you can just mix and match with so much on these pizzas and it tastes really light and it's not too heavy on your stomach at all. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. So that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you do try this recipe and tag me over on my Instagram. I'll leave all the links to everything down in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.